were eating only convenience store food for 24 hours. Except I'm in Japan! And I'm at the 7-Eleven in the U.S. Japan 7-Elevens are known for their freshly prepared, high-quality food. And I'll let this review I found speak for the 7-Elevens here in the U.S. I purchased a spicy meat whole pizza Friday, November 24th. Less than four to six hours, I had nausea, excruciating side pain, threw up three to four times. I was extremely close to heading to the ER as I felt like I was going to die. I eventually went to the ER and was prescribed three types of medication. So we need to get something for breakfast. What do I get? There's so many good options. This looks way better than the 7-Eleven in the United States. I'm just gonna say it. We got slots in the 7-Eleven. Vegas is wild, y'all. First order of business is coffee. Let's just say I wasn't too surprised about the selection. We had eggs, mayonnaise, bacon, America. I think what I'm gonna go with is this red bean paste and whipped cream. But they also got this steamed cheesecake over here look at this they also have these dumplings with red bean paste which is my favorite technically i should be finding real food but this isn't bad for a haul first thing in the morning does japanese convenience stores have cool shades i don't think so they even got the weekly fun and jump hey that anime we're getting distracted i'm hungry we should go eat let me just finish this chapter yeah i'm gonna leave him they have all these really bomb looking fried options and i'm sitting here and I'm like, hmm, hmm, what would Regina try? I think we know. Yeah, baby! I got my breakfast! And a cool new pair of sunglasses. They were $20. Pumpkin spice latte. May the best 7-Eleven win. Whoa. Ew! Ew! For me, it's just insanely sweet. And it has like this like really, really like watery slash milky texture. I don't like it. Mirka loves their sweets. The first meal of the day. Hey, it looks like we're off to a good start because look at this. We got some- It's chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets? It smells so good. <gasps> it comes with a toothpick. Oh my gosh. First 7-Eleven of Japan. <laughs> ah, mmm, that was good. Ah. Look at that. It's so crispy. Like, this is honestly killing me. <laughs> Bro, give me some. Oh my gosh. Is that good? Yeah, there you go. Croissant with sausage, egg, and cheese. Oh, it's real swaggy. This is her. Isn't she pretty? Yesterday afternoon, pretty sure it was a 7-Eleven sandwich, I had excruciating stomach and intestine pain on and off for hours after eating. Nothing helped. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try it. It's honestly really good. It does taste like any other like microwavable. Mm. There's something really hard in that. Apple Danish. Would you like a bite first? No, I'll try mine. Mine looks okay. better. Red bean paste and whipped cream bun. Ooh. Oh yeah, it is inside. Oh my gosh. Let me try. Mm. This is so good. Would you say this is better than the food at 7-Eleven in the U.S.? Honestly, I think this is better than the food than a lot of places in the U.S. I will say everything tastes way more fresh. I wonder how Regina is doing right now. I'm pretty sure Regina is enjoying her 7-Eleven experience. You know what? It's just not for me, but I can see how people like these. That was a very all-American breakfast, but does it get the Regina Happy Dance stamp of approval? No, it's not Regina approved. I'm not saying that the food was necessarily bad. I just personally would have preferred something else that's probably sold in Japan. We got some like dango. It's like red bean paste dumplings. Oh, it's, it's like mochi. Uh. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> ah. Mm, mm, mm. Glutinous rice, flour, and butter. Basically, it's just a butter mochi. Uh. The mochi is actually like pretty fresh for a convenience store. Oh, what the? Lunch time, lunch time, lunch time, lunch time. Look at that. $7 whole pizza. It's a good deal, but. 
I wasn't gonna take my chances of going to the ER. So I opted for the taquitos and I got a double XL Slurpee. I got cherry, blue raspberry, Coke, Dr. Pepper, and Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's a lot. I am ashamed. Okay guys, we have spent a few hours walking around Tokyo and I'm hungry so we're gonna go to 7-Eleven and get lunch. I think it's a mochi donut. They also have a matcha donut. They even have these weird breads that have random stuff in it. Mushrooms, mayo, and cheese. All these ramens. They have pizza chips. Steak chips and garlic chips. What is this one? I'm gonna try these. It's like some kind of steak Cheetos or something like that, so... Fun drink! And look at the size of it. It's quite literally bigger than my head, Merca. If I end up drinking all of this, I will actually die. Because this is insane. but it looks good. Chicken with broccoli. Salad. It's a pizza burrito. Fried chicken skin, smoked tongue, corn dogs, potato croquette. I just realized that I forgot my coffee. Oh no. No. So the 7-Elevens in the US all have these like taquitos in different flavors and they look so delicious and so yummy. I got one in every flavor. I'm hungry. Cheers. Do they got these in Japan, Danieler? I don't think so. Mmm. Oh my god, that's actually so good. Ate two taquitos from the 7-Eleven. Big mistake. Two hours later, felt a little nauseous. Then after an hour passed, I was bending over in abdominal pain. Next came the... <laughs> All right, I'll let you guys read this one. I'm not gonna say it out loud, okay? But just know that later in this video, I was feeling it. I should not have eaten those four taquitos. Okay, this is the steak and cheese one. Wow. Welcome to our tiny, tiny room. Here is our snacks, AKA our lunch. This is what we got today. Hotel views, snacks, cute boy. <laughs> Croquette. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Cream puff is pretty. Look at it. Look at it. It's yellow inside. This is so good. Beef Cheetos. Whoa, it's super salty, kind of sweet. Tastes like steak sauce, honestly. Who cares if I might die after drinking this entire extra, double extra large Slurpee? This is what America is built off of. This is what being American is about. Mmm, this isn't just straight up chicken. This is straight up chicken log. Okay, this is super fun. You can actually get these in the States if you guys want to try them. Okay, they're like little jelly grapes and it's super fun. It tastes like jello. Matcha. Mm hmm. This is good. This is cheese, real good. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. Yoshi. That's Mario. That's not Yoshi. Oh, wait, this is Luigi. Whoa. No. Luigi. It's a little chewy, but it's good. It's good. Whoa, that's cool. Boom. Okay, these are cute cookies. That was good. Literally don't know what flavor this is. The last taquito. 7-Eleven lunchtime gets the Regina Happy Dance stamp of approval. Would I eat this every day? No, because it will be the cause of my death. However, I'm here for a good time at a long time. Last item, guys, because I'm getting so full. Brown sugar steamed bun. Bun hun. This is really good. My tummy hurts. We're gonna walk around some more and I'm gonna show you guys some dinner. Guys, I'm literally driving as fast as I can to get home because something messed me up and I'm not gonna lie, I have to take a freaking sh- I'm just kidding guys, I didn't actually poop. I mean, I did, but like 30 minutes ago, I just, I just did that for the shot right now. To be honest, I feel absolutely disgusting and very, very sick, which is unfortunate because I still have dinner, but me feeling sick won't stop me from completing this challenge. I just need a little help. I can help. <laughs> this is roommate Christian, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Okay, well, are you ready to go to 7-Eleven? Weren't you just there? To 7-Eleven. 
we're home. Gas prices are crazy. And I'm back, unfortunately. I was having flashbacks, but thankfully, roommate Christian had an idea for an amazing, innovative, never been done before meal. And we're gonna we're gonna chef it up. So we are about to finish our day here in Tokyo. It has not been difficult to find 7-Elevens at all because Japan has the most 7-Elevens in the entire world. Out of the 71,000 7-Elevens in the world, almost 21,000 of those are here, which is insane. I guess they just like really love 7-Eleven. I think this time some kind of cup noodle. Look at all the different kinds we got. Chinese spicy sesame ramen, seafood noodle, cup noodle curry. This is the fun part about being here. A lot of times I don't know what I'm picking out, but that's so fun. You don't know how it's going to taste. Into the toaster oven. Is it plugged in? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. Ooh, those are crispy golden. I really didn't think this would happen. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Mmm. <laughs> I know you said you want dinner stuff. I was like, if I get some of these for dinner as a dessert. Oh my gosh. The options here are, oh my gosh, so endless. I think Andrew found his pick. I wanted to be a little more adventurous, but I think ramen's gonna have to be it today. This looks so much better. It actually looks like sustenance. It's stir fried noodles, cabbage, and pork. What do you think Regina's gonna be eating right now? Probably taquitos, hot dogs. Hot dogs and slurpees. Donuts. Are you gonna get a dessert too? Yeah. I got my dessert. Yeah, I gotta finish the night off strong with a diesel. Inside and they have crepe cheese cream and whipped cream. I got nice. it. Banana, banana ole, banana ole, ole, ole. <laughs> ole. We'll go for gyoza. Is it mochi ice cream? No, it's like a. Oh, it's almost like a taiyaki. I'm take. I'm sorry. So we got our haul right here. Now we just have to do something that's gonna be a little bit difficult, and that's find somewhere to eat this. Something I've learned while I'm here in Japan is a part of their social norms and their culture to not do so much public eating. I think it's something that they do to kind of be respectful towards others, to keep things more clean, more efficient, like hygienic for public spaces. Here, it's so much cleaner. Chicken Ramajan is complete. So we got ramen noodles, prego meat sauce, chicken nuggies, and ruffles as a garnish. I hope it goes okay. <laughs> Not bad. It's really not. And then the chips have a little bit of texture. Yeah, yeah. And it's definitely not classically an Italian cheese. It's cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna talk pretty softly here because I don't think they want us to think. First, I'm gonna start with this gyoza. This is so good. Straight up tastes like ramen from the ramen shop. We got some cabbage pork stir fry right here. Okay, that's good. You wanna try some, Daniel? I try can come up now. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> Crepe with cheese cream and whipped cream. All right, guys, I've been waiting to eat this. Bro, these are the bee's knees. They're so good. I was gonna go for a second bite and he finished it. It's weird, it's like each ingredient has like a 5% flavor, but it kind of adds up to like 20%. <laughs> you know, next time we'll use some of the, the ramen packets. Oh. Next time. <laughs> Waffles. Waffles. No. That's so interesting, is that a donut cream with waffles? No. Um. Oh God. Really? Oh. <laughs> Monica with sweet red beans. I think it's like a red bean ice cream and a wafer. Is it soft? This is so good. Good job, Christian. Christian. Oh, thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Let's have more. To you. <laughs> to me, what? That concludes our 24 hour in 7-Eleven challenge. Definitely, 7-Eleven can get you through the day if you guys are like on a rush and on a go. Yeah, I'm gonna say that the 7-Elevens in Japan compared to 7-Elevens in the USA, I'm oh. sorry, no hate, no hate, is much better. So that was fun. I tried a bunch of snacks. I have a happy belly and I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. <laughs>